everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a coffee review, which I don't think I've ever done on my channel, but there's a first for everything. And if there's one thing you should know about me is that I really, really like coffee. When I found out about this brand, Coffee Over Cardio, I immediately was drawn towards the packaging and a lot of the influencers I follow have been affiliated with the brand at some point in time. Um, and have done some like, you know, little Instagram story reviews, etc. And the co-founder slash CEO of the brand Coffee Over Cardio is Abby Scott, who lives in Texas. And I follow a lot of influencers in Texas, so I thought, why not support as well as try it out? It must be good if it has all this rage. So I just woke up, it is actually a Friday morning right now, and I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> but this is typically how I drink my coffee, unless I'm at a coffee shop before this whole quarantine thing happened, I'd be drinking coffee at a coffee shop, but for the most part, I'm drinking it at home when I'm working in the mornings. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this, but I quickly just wanted to take in how cute this packaging is. I can't show you the entire box just because it has my address on one of the sides, but it says caffeine loading. It has all these cute pictures and it's just such a nice, cute, compact box. So if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I love coffee and I really like light to medium roasts. I really like vanilla, hazelnut, those lighter, airy scents. <laughs> I don't know how else to like describe them, but I'm really not into like dark, bold, black coffee. But for the sake of today's video, I will be taste testing it black for the sake of the video. And then I'll also be drinking it as how I normally do with some Spunda and some almond milk. So for the next four days, because there are four different coffee roasts in here, I will be filming a clip every morning of trying out different flavors and then give you a little consensus at the end of what I thought the best, what the worst was, is it worth the money, etc. Let's go ahead and open this box. <laughs> okay, super cute. So it comes with a 20% off thing. They actually came in bags, which is great. So this is the Saturday's chocolate donut, and I got the like value pack of four different flavors. So it comes with 1.5 ounces of this flavor. Workflow High Buzz. This one also is 1.5 ounces. Messy Bun Cinnamon Bun. This one is a cult favorite. And then the Birthday Cake 1.5 ounces coffee as well. Really cute, they have like this straw. Okay, so decisions, decisions. Now I have to figure out which one I wanna try this morning. Well, I think it's only fitting to do the messy bun cinnamon bun since my hair is in a bun right now, so maybe that's the one we'll try today. So my mom has these little like cake cup container reusable things, I don't know what to call these, but basically instead of buying cake cups, you can just put your ground coffee inside one of these and then it acts the same as a cure cup. Okay, cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this. Wow, okay, the smell is very delicious. That's how messy bun looks like. It looks like a medium roast. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. So this is only eight ounces. So it's not a very big cup of coffee at all. I prefer like 12 ounces or above, <laughs> um, but I think it'll be nicely concentrated for this video. Okay, I'm gonna try it black. I definitely get the scent. The scent is still very strong. Oh, I can definitely taste the cinnamon. Yeah, honestly. If I just put one sponge, I probably could drink this like black, but for the enjoyment of my coffees and enhancing the flavors, we're gonna add almond milk and sponge. This is the unsweetened almond milk from Almond Breeze. This is actually pretty good. Typically when I have flavored coffees, you know coffee shops will have their flavored roasts. You can definitely smell it and maybe get a little bit of an undertaste, undertone like, I don't know how to describe it. You can smell it more than you can taste it. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And with this brand, at least the roast I just tried, which is Messy Bun Cinnamon Bun, I thought you could get a good amount of cinnamon. You do have to like cinnamon for this coffee roast for sure. Just with the coffee being black. 
And then with add-ins like milk and spunda or sugar, it kind of just enhances that. So I actually really like this. It's definitely the best coffee I've ever tried flavored wise. This is the color of the coffee now with the milk in it. I also have a huge sweet tooth. So this would be delicious as like a dessert. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rate what I would give the roast. Now the roast flavor, I would probably give a solid seven on just having it black. With my add-ins, I would probably bump it up to an eight, and I think that's pretty darn good on the scale. I'm excited to try the rest. I'm really excited for that birthday cake one. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's next coffee taste test. All right, so I'm here for day two's coffee test in a new set of pajamas. Game of Thrones for the win. So today I couldn't stray away from trying this one next. This one is the birthday cake flavor. So we'll give this an open. Mm, that was smells really good. Looks like about a medium roast. I would say it almost smells like chocolate birthday cake. Give it a shot. All right, so let's give it a taste test as a black coffee. So I'm not tasting a ton of the birthday cake. I can smell the aroma of the birthday cake just a little bit, but it's definitely not as potent as the messy bun coffee I tried on day one. Yeah, black, honestly, I think I would give it like a five out of 10. I just don't taste enough birthday cake, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my add-ins and then give it a new rating based on the add-ins. Okay, I can taste a little bit of the birthday cake now. Mm. So the color of coffee looks, if you guys can see that. So I think I would rate this one a seven out of 10. I'm surprised and shocked I didn't like birthday cake more because birthday cake and like cake batter is like my favorite thing for everything, for ice cream, for any type of dessert. Um, but I just think that the messy bun, cinnamon bun flavor was stronger in both, in a black coffee and with add-ins. So I think I would rate this one a seven. It's not terrible. I definitely would drink it with add-ins. All right, let's get on to day three. All right, guys, welcome back to day three of the coffee taste testing. So today I'm gonna to be trying Workflow High Buzzed, and this one was rated the highest on the caffeine level scale, so this is their darker roast, which all the other ones I've been trying up to this point are not even medium roast, they're all pretty much light roast. So this one should be interesting because dark roast is not my favorite coffee grind slash blend. Ooh, okay, definitely not my favorite coffee scent. I'm gonna spoon it because I think that's easier for you guys to see. I don't think I'm gonna like this one black. All right, so I have my coffee here. We're gonna do a taste test with it black. Yeah, just how I thought it would taste. <laughs> so it's very, very bitter. Yeah, I don't even know what to rate this. <laughs> I mean, if you like dark roast coffee and you like to drink it black, this is probably on the high end of the scale for you, like a nine or a 10, but I don't like black coffee typically and I don't like dark roast. So I'm gonna rate this like a one out of 10, but it has nothing against like the coffee brand or the quality of bean. It's literally just, I don't like dark roast coffee, but it was in my value pack, trying it out. That's what I'm rating it just as it is on its own. Now I'll do the add-ins. Yeah, not bad with the add-ins for sure. I mean, if I did want to go even sweeter, I'd put another one, but this is only eight ounces of coffee. So I think we're good with the two Splendas. Yeah, so I think I'd rate this seven out of 10. All right, let's get to the last and final day, day four. All right, guys, welcome to day four of the coffee taste testing. So today's final last flavor is gonna be the Saturdays spelled S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Z-E, chocolate donut. And this one I'm excited for because I love all things chocolate. Smell test. That smells pretty bomb. It smells like a chocolate cake. That's how the roast looks. Looks like a light to medium roast. I'm excited for this one. This one seems really good. I hear the devil and the devil is the lawnmower because this mic picks up everything. So 
So the smell smells just as strong as the beans did in the bag of coffee, now brewed, which is good. Drinking a black first. I don't like this one black. <laughs> I can taste the chocolate, but it's almost like a dark chocolate, like a cocoa or cacao. Yeah. Honestly, it's not good for me to rate these black because I never drink black coffee and it doesn't give, I feel like, an accurate... Well, it should give an accurate quality taste test of just black, but I never drink it that way, so my rating changes as soon as I put the add-ins in. If you've ever been to a hookah lounge, I feel like this tastes like one of the flavors you'd get at that. I don't know, it's just giving me like a flashback. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm still getting like reminiscence of those, those hookah flavor things. I don't know what they're called. I would buy this one. Um, this one I would probably rate seven and a half, eight out of 10, it's not bad. All right, so I wrote down in my notebook here a roundup of thoughts and a couple things I wanna go over just to conclude this video. So obviously in the ranking order, I liked the messy bun and cinnamon bun the best. It tasted the best black and it tasted the best with add-ins in. The one I obviously kind of knew I'd like the least is the high caffeine one, which was a dark roast, which is not my preferred go-to coffee roast to go to, so that was definitely my least favorite. Birthday cake and chocolate donut were kind of a toss up in between, but my hopes were a little bit higher for birthday cake. So I think the chocolate donut was more accurate to the smell. So like the underlying taste of it, you can still taste a little bit of that chocolate donut, which birthday cake I thought it was lacking just a little bit. But that's not to say I didn't like it. And the last thing I wanted to go over was pricing because I didn't really go over it too much in the intro or the beginning of this video very much. But I got a coffee like value pack or sample pack, whatever you want to call it on their website. And it had 1.5 ounces of grinds in each bag. And I did use a coupon code, which didn't save me much. I think it was just like 10% off um, to support a influencer and then also get a little bit of a discount. So in total, just for the coffee, it's $11.99 USD. Then my coupon code took off $1.79. The shipping to Canada, which always freaking gets me, good thing I didn't pay duties this time, was $11.32. So that American total is $21.52 USD. So convert it to Canadian for four little bags of coffee it was about 31 bucks which i know it kind of sucks i really did wish i lived in the states when it came to things like this because always slam you with these packages um if it was cheaper or if there was no shipping if some type of cost was deducted from this i would be more intrigued to purchase from this company again not to say that i won't i definitely want to in the future but i'll definitely have to wait for some black friday deal or boxing day deal just any sort of deal to save some money because this is a lot for a Canadian to spend on, you know, little bags of coffee. But I really did enjoy trying it out and seeing what the hype was all about. A lot of my favorite influencers talk and rave about this stuff all the time. Hopefully one day I'll have a place in America and then I can ship all my packages there. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I definitely would love to do more in the future. I really like taste testing food as well as coffee and other drinks. So comment down below if you'd like to see more of those. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and the thumbs up button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.